Welcome back to WCNY Connected. Well, picture a beautiful central New York fall day, standing on a hill, tugging ah. a string, and watching colorful fabric dance in the wind. Ah. It may be one of life's little pleasures. Uh -huh. You might, Ted, almost call it art. Yeah, and we're being joined, by the way, by two guests who believe exactly that. Next weekend, Stone Quarry Hill Art Park will be celebrating its 15th annual Kite Festival. And joining us once again from the Art Park Executive Director, Joe Scala, and from the New York Kite Enthusiast Association, Tom Shankin, Art in the Sky. Joe, Tom, welcome. Tell me all about this. This Thank is you. so neat. Very well, nice. Well, this is our 15th uh, festival. Right. And um, in the past, we there was a format that was followed for flying the kites from the uh, New York Kite Enthusiasts uh -huh. and kids and whoever. Uh, and uh, I decided this year I wanted to change the format. Okay. So what I did was I invited uh, 14 artists to get a kite and paint it Ooh. so that we would have original art kites. Wow. And I thought this was such an incredibly original idea. Sure. Then I found out that 15 years ago in Japan, they do this all the time. <laughs> you know? And they had this major uh, event that produced a book that was two inches thick, and they had all of the great artists in America wow. there to do this and Boy, fly this, their kites. You brought some of these kites, and they're absolutely these are amazing. Gorgeous. But I got, gotta say, Tom, how do you fly a kite? I have never been able to keep it up in the air. There's got to be some sort of secret to that. Well, it, it really isn't. It's First, you have to start out with a kite that flies. Oh, and, okay. Is that it? Maybe and, you didn't and, have that. Yeah, I think a lot of the kites that you find in the stores don't Especially when you're a kid, don't right? fly you very well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We were talking earlier, Tom. I used to break the sticks half the time trying to get the we kite still on do. the stick we frame. Still you, do. That still yeah. happens. Yeah. So now they use carbon? It, exactly. Carbon, uh, it, to show you one of the kites here that on the back. That is beautiful. Uh, it's carbon graphite fiber, okay. uh, which uh, very high tech material. They're making aircraft very strong, out of now, sure. yes, and it's used in uh, the space program. Uh, the kite that we have over there uh, in the back uses tubes that okay. are also carbon graphite, uh, but uh, boy, that's, that's huge. Yes, yeah. that's made of arrow. Does shaft. it make a difference how it flies in terms of how big it is, or once it gets up in the air, it doesn't matter? The smaller kites are, are a little more finicky. Mm -hmm. okay. The larger kites uh, tend to be a little more stable. This, this one's called a rakaku, okay. which uh, your Japanese lesson for the day means six-sided. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, and uh, basically, we like this kite because it's extremely versatile. Huh, wow. beautiful, too. Art uh, in the air. Yes. Amazing. That was by uh, a uh, Canadian artist. Both of these kites are actually painted uh -huh. by a Canadian artist. That one is Jacques Letourneau from Quebec, and this one is Robert Trepanier from Montreal. So wow. this is why, I mean, you're always about the art at the Stone Quarry Art Park. I know, Park, Joe. I'd be, afraid, like... I'd be afraid I'd wreck one getting it caught in a tree. Well, <laughs> where we fly the kites, there are no trees. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a hill. Oh, yeah, that's another one of my problems. <laughs> and it's also a, it's, it's a, a <laughs> no hill. No power lines, no. <laughs> which has a, a natural updraft. Wow. So that it's a beautiful place to fly kites, mm -hmm. and these guys even come when we don't have a festival and fly their kites. Yeah. That's how much they like beautiful it. Beautiful. Now, what were you saying? There's going to be some some kites that have not yet been painted yeah. that people can stop and well, do that. What, what what we did was when I, when it, yeah. I this contacted. Is like this is a blank canvas right. kite. Yes. Right? Yes. Yep. Okay. That's okay. one of the kites we're going to. I contacted uh, Tom to and and a fellow named uh, Dave Tuttle, who's uh -huh. from Binghamton. And I told them my idea, and they loved the idea, because you know, they already knew about this uh -huh. before. And uh, I said, well, who's going to make the kites? So they volunteered to make the kites. They okay. made three different style kites. Uh -huh. I contacted artists, I invited artists, and we put them together. And then there was a problem of, well, what do we use for paint? And will the paint adhere to the material? So mm -hmm. we got a hold of Golden Artist Colors in New Berlin. And Barbara Golden worked with us, and uh, they spent a lot of time experimenting with different kinds of media and mm. grounds to go on the material and different kinds of acrylic paints that would work best. And we came up with the best solution to the problem. And the Golden Artist Colors is supplying all of the artists with free paint. Oh, oh that's that fantastic. The kites. Well, it wow. looks like a good time. By the way, we have a website as well. If yeah. people are interested in finding out more about kite flying, um, not just at the event this next weekend, mm -hmm, but boy, mm -hmm. just can you fly during the winter too? Yes, we, we actually we do an event up on Lake George on the out on the ice. Wow. Uh, Whoa. And, uh, you it, are enthusiastic. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's, it's a little cold, but, but the air is clean, and we, we like that. Out on, and it's the only time. 
time you can get out in the middle of Lake George, and, uh, really. And if it should and happen stand. to rain on the 23rd, uh -huh. I know it never rains in central it New York, but just in case, we'll, see in the fall. we'll do it on Sunday the 24th. Right. Okay. And then on the 30th, we're going to have an exhibition in the gallery, a one-day exhibition showing all of the original kites. Oh, oh that's beautiful. And, and there'll be a silent auction so that you guys can come, can come and, and bid on, your bid on the kite that you them, love. love. Joe it. and Tom, thank you so yeah, much, thanks, and good guys. luck yes. with your event. It sounds like yes. a lot of fun. Again, the kites will be flown Saturday, October 23rd from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. Stone Quarry Hill Art Park's Quarry Hill, along with the New York Kite Enthusiasts, Members Kites, and anyone else who would like to fly their own kite. If you'd like more information, visit stonequarryhillartpark.org. Check out WCNY Connected with us, Ted and Amy. Thursday nights at 9 on WCNY.